These are 10 signs of unserious partner or a game player in a relationship. 10 signs of unserious partner or a game player in a relationship. So if you are still single, you are in a relationship, you are afraid, you don't know whether that person is serious or unserious, watch this video. Or if you are married and uh, there is a way your marriage is going, this is the signs of unserious partner in a relationship. Okay? So, number one is, they can never have your time. They can never have your time. If someone is serious about you, the least thing that person can give you is his or her own time. Every time you call her, I want to see you, she keep on giving one excuses or the other. Or every time you call him, I want to see you, I want us to discuss, he keep on giving you one excuses or the other. So they are always busy when you need them. Okay? So, number two is, they always demand, okay, without knowing how you feel. They always demand without knowing how you feel. You no, know, so they are demanding so many things. They can demand for money, and when you tell them you don't have money, they are being provoked. Instead of them to, you know, encourage you and say no problem, you know, they keep on, you know, demanding. They persuade you to make sure that you give to them. Okay, so this is their strategy. They keep on demanding from you. They can never give to you. They keep on demanding. They can never give to you. Okay, they don't know whether you have or you don't have. They keep on demanding. They always, they always believe that you have it. Or maybe even if you don't have it, you can still borrow from someone to give to them. This is a sign of a serious partner in a relationship. So another one is they always bring a pity talk. Okay, because of their too much demanding, they always bring pity talks. Every time they bring one story, the other, you know, one pity talk and the other, they want you to pity them. They will tell you, you know, they have not eaten. They will tell you so many things. Okay, so that you can pity them. So why pitying them? You know, you think that you are in love with them. You, in fact, they are not in love with you. They only give you stories. They only want you to pity them so that you can, you know, whatever they demand from you, you can be able to give to them. All right. So another one is always wanting sex at all time. They always demand for sex at all time. OK, you know, if someone is serious about you, they know that, yes, yeah, this relationship will end the marriage. OK, they will end the marriage. At least if that person claims to love you, let him or her wait after marriage but since they know that they have no future with you they you know you are not in their plan maybe in marriage they always demand for sex you know so many ladies have fallen victim every time he, he, he promised to marry you he promised to take you to their family he promised to show you to their uncle you know all this he, he keep on lying and the every point in time she you know he keep on sleeping with you without a, in fact any any future plan with you okay Another one is no future plan. I have said it now. No future plans with you. No day they will tell you that I'm planning so 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 thing for us in our future. Okay, I'm doing this. You know, they don't even want to ask you how you know how you feel about their plans. So many of them will even show you that they are making plans for you and them. But if they are putting you in their plans, they're supposed to allow you, you know, to say things, you know, how you want it to, you know, for you to contribute. Especially in, you know, in decision making, if someone say he or she is your partner or will be your partner in future, they will allow you to make decision. They shouldn't make decision on their own and that will allow, you know, expect you to abide in, with, with the, only their plans without you contributing in that plans. So since they have no future plan with you, they always want to make their own plans on their own. And they, in fact, they make their own plans. OK, they have no future plans with you. So another one is they always lie. They always lie to cover up lies. Every day you keep on suspecting that he is lying to you. Every time you keep on suspecting that she is lying to you. But you know, because you are blinded with love, you keep on overlooking those, those signs. Please, those signs are very, very important. Once you notice that he is lying or she is lying to you, every time you, she tells you that uh, she, she's there, she's there, she's going, you know, all these things. Please be very, very careful with everyone that always give excuses. 
every time you need them, they give us credit. Every time you want to talk with them, because they know that you are very serious in that relationship. So they don't want to be serious with you. So they keep on looking for a way to run away from you. They don't want to, you know, to be close to you. They don't want to have anything to do with you. They don't want to plan with you. They don't want to do anything, you know, anything with you. All right. So that is one of their, you know, one of their signs. They lie every time they always lie to cover up lies so another one is it's hard for them to make up their mind it's hard for them to make up their mind let me say as a lady you know you are dating someone okay and it is it's hard for him to make up his mind to see your family members it's hard for him to make up his mind you know to you know to tell you maybe this relationship is leading to marriage for uh, to marriage or not, okay? It's hard. Even when you ask them, it's hard for them to answer the question. They are not straightforward, okay? So they can never tell you the truth, okay? It's hard for them to make up their mind. Oh, as a as a man, every time you always ask her, "Will you marry me? Do you want you know? I want to come and see your family member." She she can never give you her mind, you know, give you her consent. She can never tell you, "Okay, yes, I want to marry you." She can never say, "Yes, I want to." You know, you want to propose to her, she always postponed. Even when you want to pro, uh, propose to her, she always wants to pro, postpone it. So she's hiding so many things which you don't know. Okay, she's covering up, which you don't know. She have other options, which you don't know. So if it's hard for them to make up their mind, whether they want to stay with you or they don't want to stay with you, they want to marry or they, they are on serious. They are just a game player in that relationship. Okay. So another one is promising without fulfilling. So, so many of them give you so many promises without fulfilling them. They will tell you this, I will do this for you, I will do that for you, I will come today, I will come, you know, so many things. They can never fulfill anyone, not even one. Because they know that fulfilling their promise to you is like committing themselves to you. So they are not ready for commitment. So in that, with that reason, they can never fulfill their promises. They don't want to be committed in that relationship. So they are just playing games with you in that relationship. Okay? So, another one is... It's easy for them to say, I love you. Let me tell you, I love you is a very powerful word. And whenever you say it, people, you know, some your partner always feel loved, okay? But they have noticed that once they say it, they have captured your mind. So they keep on saying it in order for, for you to, you know, they pretend they say it. It's easy for them to say it. Let me tell you, someone that loves you sometimes, it's, easy, it's, it's not that easy for them to say it because they know that this word is powerful word. And if they say it when they are not serious with you, it is not good, okay? They, they, it's hard for them to say, I love you. Anyone that loves you, sometimes it's hard for them. Yes, they will feel it in their mind, but it's hard for them to say it. But if you see those people that every minute I love you, every time they love, and they and they are, you know, and you keep on suspecting them, let me tell you, they are just a game player. They are on serious in that relationship. Okay. So the last but not the least is always swelling in the name of God. These people know the strategies and they know that whenever they mention the name of God, you will see them as a believer. You will see them, you know, they keep on telling you God will do this, God will do that, you know, all these things, they keep on swelling in the name of God. Every little thing they have already swear. They will swear to you, I, I swear to God, they will swear it's them every time. And when they're swelling, sometimes you, you are trying to give them hope, you know, give hope. You are trying to say, okay, let's wait, let's see, you know, but let me tell you, in as much as they swear from now to eternity, they are on serious. They are just a game player and you are feeling it, you are noticing it, but you are very blind. Okay, to make up your mind that that relationship can never work. So instead of you to enter into this kind of relationship, or maybe at last, maybe you end up with them in that relationship. Let me tell you, even after marriage, even after marriage, they will still remain on serious with you. They will still remain a game player. Okay, so God bless you for listening. I'm still your sister, the real Esther Gineka, always teaching out of experience. God bless you. Bye.